Hello everyone, so today I am filming a plan with me for November 2nd through the 8th. If I'm talking a little bit quieter than normal, I am sorry. Avery is actually asleep right above me and I do not want to wake her up, but I wanted to film this for you guys because I have company over and this for the past like week, if you guys saw my last plan with me and I didn't know if I would have time to film this, but I have time right now, figured I would do it. So for this week, I have a pretty cool theme. I am doing the Scribble Prince Co. I believe this is the winter pumpkin or fall pumpkin theme. I have the original theme sheets which come with the functional sheet, the full box sheet, and the washi. And I also have the little extras which are new um, that Scribble Prince Co. added which are the headers, um, the Andrea's little extras, half boxes, uh, bottom washi, and the ombre heart check boxes, which are going to be with every collection, which I think is so awesome. And then I pulled out this collection from Planner Kate 1. It's also sort of like a pumpkin-y collection. It has some blues in it as well. I figured I could kind of tie these two together. We'll see how well that works. Also, before I get started, this week is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be planning how I normally plan with the today uh, YouTube or upload school because I don't have any school this week. I'm off this week because we have a week-long break in between our 10-week courses. So I'm off this week and I'm very, very happy. So I'm going to do a little bit of a different type of spread. If you've seen Andrea's spreads before, um, when she planned in her vertical, she did sort of like a checklist, um, stuff that she was doing, her little things sort of situation. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use these headers and I'm going to kind of set it up like that. I've never done it like this before, so we're going to do this together as a team and hopefully it turns out uh, really well. So I'm going to get started by putting the bottom washi down first. I can't decide honestly if I want to use the bottom washi that comes with the kit or if I want to use one of these. I honestly think I want to use this one because I just think it looks really pretty and it might help tie in the blues a little more. Then going to put my hydrate stickers down below. I have a ton of hydrate stickers. This was the old format. This is the new format. You actually get more hydrate stickers. I think I'm going to use like light green and if I still have some orange left over, the light green, orange, and maybe the blue. We'll see. Okay, so I finished doing that. This one ripped up a little bit, so I'm going to have to get scissors and cut that off. But otherwise, I think the colors look good. I'm then going to take the headers that came, or didn't come with the kit, but you can purchase separately. And I'm going to put To Do up top. Okay, and then I'm going to use the ombre heart check boxes and just put them all under the to-do headers. That was actually so simple. Okay, and I have one box left. You guys know I usually use that in the sidebar, so I'll keep that for then. And then I guess I'll use the um, Today headers underneath because there was a little bit of white space because I do use a plum paper planner. I do have an Erin Condren that I'll be using next year, but I have, you know, two more months to use the plum. And I do like my plum, but I do think I'm going to prefer the Erin Condren just because uh, just about every sticker shop sells stickers that fit, like, perfectly with the Erin Condren and I think I would prefer that because like these headers are a lot skinnier than the plum paper headers as you can see well not I mean this isn't really a good representation but as you can see up here because the um, plum paper ones are a little a little thicker then I'm going to take the full box sheet and just put down um, full boxes under the today headers
I do like how this is turning out. This definitely wouldn't work for me like on a regular basis because I do definitely prefer having my two, my three sections. I think those work out well for me. But just to like kind of spice it up since I don't have school this week and I can do something a little different, I'm kind of liking it. So I'm going to build my way up from the bottom for the little thing section. So for Monday, I guess I could put down my SPC stickers first. So different planning like this because... I'm so used to the way I typically plan, so this is just weird to me. But it, like I said before, it's fun to change up how you plan every once in a while. Okay, now that those are down, I'm going to use, I pulled out both the October colors and the um, November colors of the Planner Kate One Double Dots. Um, I think I'm honestly just going to use the November colors and I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use the light blue to mark Avery's baths. <laughs> two shows on Tuesday so I'm just gonna use the ones that come in the little winter or fall pumpkin I think it's called the winter pumpkin kit I'm just gonna put two TV stickers it's so weird building from the bottom up and then I also have a show on Wednesday I'll probably run out of TV stickers but that's fine and then I have two shows on Sunday. So I'll use the last TV one on this set and then I'll find one of my own. I think that's everything for the bottom section. So then I'm gonna go ahead and put the Little Things headers on top of those. And then with this empty space, I think I'm gonna use both washi sheets that I have and fill in that empty space. So all of the washi is down. Um, I basically think I just have to fill in the stuff that's going on that day. There's honestly not a lot going on. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to use one of the half boxes. I think I'm going to use this one and put it right here with the airplane symbol because Cody leaves on Monday and that's honestly really it so I'm just gonna leave that there and then I guess that honestly just like leaves me space to add other stickers for decoration or if I have other things to do we'll see um Tuesday's payday so I'm gonna put another I think I'm just gonna put the green one down right here and put a little money symbol like that um wednesday i want to check my grades so i think i'm going to use one of the teardrops yeah and put it like right here like that um thursday's a laundry day use another half box um, I don't think I have any really, honestly, any more, like, laundry stickers that match. I need to get more of those. So, I'm just going to use, like, a home sticker to symbolize doing laundry. Nothing's going on Friday. We do need to put the weekend banner up, so I'm just going to do that now. 
and just put that right here. Saturday, Avery has a dentist appointment, so I'm going to use one of these appointment half boxes on Saturday. She has a dentist appointment. It's her first. I'm so excited. It's going to be so cute. And then nothing. That's crazy. Okay, so that's kind of everything. I'm going to quickly fill everything out that I can. I think honestly, like I'll just have to fill out the to-do list as I go, uh, but I can fill out every other thing. And I have a couple of things on my to-do lists that I can fill out and then I'll come back. We'll do the sidebar and decorate a little bit. All right, sorry I didn't show too much. I was like trying to write, but I didn't even realize it wasn't even in focus. I did use the Statler Triplus Fine Liner Pen. This is just a blue one. I pulled out like an orange and a green, but I thought the blue would be fun and would tie in with the blue theme from the Planar Kate 1 kit. Uh, just a little bit more. So I filled everything out that I could. I am going to leave just a little bit of room. No, I'm not. I'm not going to leave any room. I'm just going to decorate because if I have anything that I need to add, I can always add it up here. So I am going to decorate, like I said, using this planner Kate sheet. Honestly, since I have so much freaking room everywhere, you know what? I'm like all out of sorts. Let's do the sidebar first. So I'm going to put my last ombre heart checklist right here. I'll move it so you guys can see. I'm going to use the next week header. above that cover it with a little bit of washi just like that and then I'm going to use my last full box to cover the calendar just like that and fill out my little sidebar I think I'm also gonna put a to clean sticker on Wednesday like right here and my to go sticker on Sunday just to add a little bit of more like stickers I guess I don't know now I'm gonna decorate so I really want to use this big pumpkin I think I'm gonna use him right here That's pretty much it. I'm sorry if that was such a weird sort of filming. Um, I mean, it's late at night. Avery's asleep, so I feel kind of like on edge because I don't want to wake her up. And I'm doing a totally different spread than I've ever done before. This is very, very different for me. Um, I might do these types of spreads, um, you know, when I don't have school, but that's every 10 weeks. So that'll probably be in February next time. But let me know if you guys like this or if you like my old spreads. I think I honestly prefer my old kind of style spread. I just think it works out best for me. But it was fun to try something new. And these colors are so stinking pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys next Monday with another plan with me. Alright, bye guys.